Hi everybody, today we're doing, a, um, a sort of last thing for a low impact jogging workout thing you can do when you come back from a walk. Uh, so today this is actually what I'm giving you. Uh, so you'll need a chair, um, one of your foot top on it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, that's all you'll need, you don't need a mat or anything like that, just have your water ready, get ready to join along, let's start just a little warm, so this is due for when you're coming back from your walk, so you're all warm anyway, so just let's get that heart rate back up because you've just started the video. So it's just an easy march for now, we're just going to open everything up. Okay, take that right heel forward, lean down, reach up tall, left, reach down and lift. So it's just do a little stretch out through the hamstrings. So we'll be working on legs, glutes, and quad, and a little bit of time for the upper body as well. Tiny bit for the stomach, and hold it there. Drive the right heel back, tap it in. Left heel back, tap it in. Add on the push through the arms, squeeze the shoulder blade at the back. Drive down that heel. Good, so it's nice and steady. We're not doing anything. That is too taxing. We've been for that nice walk, we've been for our run, and now we're getting that tone in. Last one, hold it there, march it out. Okay, starting to warm up that upper body. A little bit more, we're just going to go right to left. <laughs> Keep the marching going. Arms forward. Good, now we're going to circle the arms out nice and wide. So, arms out and circle. So, we're going to see the video we're going on. Like, whoop. And up in direction. Good, nice and strong. Push the hands away. One more time by the side. Rest. Other direction. Little reach off. Good, squeeze. Lengthen the side of the waist. Keep with the legs going. Good. Last four. Three, two, one, and march. Okay, we're going to go straight in here. So keep the marching going. I want to just explain what we're going to do. We're starting off with only 20 seconds to walk through each exercise. We get five seconds to rest before we go on to the next one. So your exercises are. All with the right leg forward to start with or using that right leg. Three different exercises. The back leg is on your chair. Watch that when you bend down that knee doesn't go over that front toe. Keeping on the toy to cat, pushing up through. So do a double pulse and a clench. We do 20 seconds, 5 seconds rest. Then with that right foot in forward again, toe at a 45 degree angle. We go into a curtsy with a tap. We're squeezing off with that right bum cheek. Then with that right leg, leg on the chair, we're trying to stand up, keeping the opposite leg up. Okay. In from those, <coughs> all on the right side, we then go through the chair, we do the lat press ups. So the fingers face down to the side, body weight forward, we come down, we do the lat press ups there. If that is too much, you just go as far as you can. Then we lift up, arms come back, we're going to rotate the arms. This forward the back of the arms, back end, into the triceps. From there then, we come back to the chair over this way. We do two through the middle, across the body, and then two around the outside and keep that going. Then we do everything on the left leg, and then our last one is our modified glove for using the chain. You can step back, step in, jump up, or you can jump back, jump hip, jump up. And if you want to make that hard, you can jump in. Right, we're going to go straight in. 20 seconds, 5 seconds rest. Let's get ready to go. So, starting my timer. I have to make sure it's somewhere I can see it. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds, so set yourself up. Right leg forward, left leg back. Now you need to keep your balance here. Ready, off we go. So we double and clench. Double and clench. Double and squeeze. Double. So we're trying to drive all the power into this heel 
and into this leg. You'll feel something on the back side as well. Last one in, and relax. Good, same leg, right leg forward, toe turned out. I know I'm working off the two, here we go. Tap it out. Now, we're trying to keep these nice and quick. Now, I am from England. Imagine I'm the queen. Curtsy for me, curtsy. Oh, can feel this all in that leg and in the bottom on that side. Relax. Okay, right leg comes up to that chair. Off we go. Push. Push. So we're trying not to use momentum from our upper body. So a lot of people want to swing to jump up. Keep that stomach nice and tight. Push up through that heel. Relax. Okay. Hands down. Ready for that press ups. Here we go. So we're trying to get the chest. I'm moving my chair here. Towards that bed, uh, the bench or the chair. Drop the shoulders. And you're trying to feel the shoulder blades at the back squeezing together. Relax. From here. And press up and together. Rotate. Nice and quick. So if anyone's in my Pilates, you've got me with Pilates. You really do start to feel the triceps work with these. <laughs> Keep trying to squeeze the hands together. Rotate. Relax. Okay, back to the chair. Ready? Nice and long. Through, through, across, across, round, round, through. And we're trying to squeeze that tummy nice and tight. Upper body stays relaxed. And breathe. Left side now, guys. Left leg forward. Here we go. Double pulse. Clench. It moves through quite quick because you've only got that five seconds to rest. So even though they are small exercises, we are trying to get that heart rate lifted. Woo! And breathe. Don't talk because you're doing it because your mind will go. Here we go. Curtsy, tap. So your hips stay square to the front. Your knee stays in line with the toe. You don't have to go too far back or too far across with that leg. Relax. Good. Left side now pushing up on that chair. Left leg on. Here we go. Drive it up. Use your bottom. Clinch. <sighs> Obviously, you can use a lower step as well if you have one. You want to use a lower step, no problem. Relax. Final one, modified burpee. Here we go. So you don't have to jump if you don't want to. Just reach up. Legs back. It's all about keeping that tummy nice and tight. Don't let the hips drop. Too low. Belly in. Relax. Easy. Now, we're going to do all that again. We're going to go straight in more or less. Have a quick sip of the drink. This time you've got 30 seconds on. And again, only five second rest. So, I am going to change our work interval to 30 seconds. So, here we go, all on that right side, upper body all on the left side, okay, get ready with the leg back, right leg forward, <laughs> readjust yourself, here we go, one double pulse and squeeze. So try and really keep that tummy nice and tight. Pull the shoulders back. All about driving out through that front heel. 
Now it's going to feel a lot longer this time round. That extra 10 seconds will really start to feel that extra pressure in the leg and the back side. Five seconds to go. And relax. Same leg. Toe facing on that 45. Here we go. Attack. Great to get that bit of tone in. If you want to, guys, with all of these leg exercises, you can use weights. So if you have weights at home, make this more difficult and add those weights in. You can just leave them hanging down by your side for all of these. Five seconds. Relax. Good. Right leg. Let's push up onto that chair. Here we go. So it's all about trying to keep your stomach tight as well as driving up through that right leg. Notice this leg doesn't join me. Oh, I can feel that right side going now. Can anyone else? Woo! I can't look around either while I'm doing this. This chair is really bumpy. Ready, lap press ups. Here we go. <laughs> so, again, shoulders pull back, chin up the chest, shoulder blades come together at the back. So, if you think of those blades as sort of angel wings and drawing them together and then pushing through. And relax. Ready for those arm squeezes? Here we go. So, those little rotations, keep your arms straight as you can. Notice the quality here. My hands are as close together as I can get them. This will work the triceps and the shoulders. Come on, keep squeezing. Ten seconds to go. Really push all the way around. Four, three, and breathe. Good. Ready? Here we go. Through, 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 cross, cross, round, round. Pinch the weight. Go cross. And you breathe through. Try and really get up onto the toes so you can feel this working in the tummy. If it's not hard enough, do this on the floor. Relax. Left side, left leg forward, right leg back on the chair. Ready? Here we go. Double pulse. Squeeze up. So let's attack that left side now. Keep those hips square to the front. Keep clenching the box. Clench it on this side as well as that left. You're driving up through that left here, remember. Push. Barely scooped in. Relax. Good. Left toe out ever so slightly. Push. Clench. All into that glute. On that left side. Well done, guys. Keep that going. If this is too fast, take it slower. It's completely up to you. As long as that left heel is completely buried. Relax. Left leg up on that chair. Ready? Off we go. Push. Get that glue working. So you can't look that way. I just end up falling. I should go this way so I can see you. There we go. I can see you there. Good. Drive up through that heel. Keep it going. Woo. <coughs> Good. Don't use that upper body. Use the tummy. Heart rate should be lifted. Relax. 
Modified burpee. Off we go. Remember, don't jump. If you don't want to, step, 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 step in. So that is your option. It's all about just keeping that body moving as much as we can. Body weight stays forward to work the tummy. Relax. Good. Okay, there's step two. Let's go, guys. My heart rate's lifting and I'm not doing anything I don't feel. But we're doing loads. So, it's surprising what you can do with small exercises to get the heart pumping a little bit more. Right, we're going all again. And we're going at that 35 again. Then we bring it back down to 25 for the last little bit. 20 minutes in total for this whole section. Doing really well. Let's keep it going. So grab a quick sip of the drink. And let's get ready to go. Right guys, <laughs> let's refresh this, we're going to go in 10 seconds, that right leg, <laughs> three, and here we go, double pulse. So we really want to start to feel something happening now in the legs, <laughs> and in that upper body too. So it's four sets in total. So this is the last one with that 30 seconds. I can feel this creeping all the way down. Clench. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Don't just go through the motions. Relax. Just say that's too much of the leg up. Leave the leg and just do a lunge on the floor. Okay, here we go. Down, push. Squeeze. Let's try and go a little bit quicker. But keeping that good, strong technique. Driving up through the bottom. Pushing through that front heel. All my weight is on that right leg. That left one is just moving. Three seconds. Relax. I'm going to put the back of my chair so I can see you. Ready? Right leg, push. Drive it up. <laughs> We've also got that, but don't push off because that's too easy. Hands away. Hands on hip. Hands to the head. Up to you. Push. Through that right heel. Oh, I can feel this now. Yeah. Relax. Left press ups. <laughs> Off we go. So remember those angel wings again. Squeeze. So this was down the side of our back. So on that works the chest as well. <laughs> A tiny bit in the triceps. If you want to make it easier. Bring the legs wider for a more stable base. Relax it there. Ready to get those arms up? Here we go. So, drag the tummy in. Try and pull those arms even higher. Squeeze the back of the hands together. Toe in only, guys. Very limited cardio, but if you notice, you should be just slightly out of breath. You feel like you've done something, and that's the main thing. You're doing something different. Keep that spine nice and long for me. Don't punch out. Relax it there. Turn it over. Abs. Here we go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Across. Across. Round. Round. And again. Remember, you can do these on the floor to make them more challenging. Or on a lower step, if you like. Squeeze. If you are dragging your belly and keeping your spine up long, you should be able to feel this in your belly and your waist. Last one. Relax. Left side. Ready? Here we go. Double pulse. 
hold squeeze and looking out the window my children are playing the sand push <laughs> down down and push all into that left push I'm waiting for delivery of new trainers treat myself to my birthday I can't wait for them to be here today relax I ordered a little top as well. <laughs> you know, it's pretty short for one thing. And here we go, down and squeeze. All on that left side. I know it's you, it looks like I'm doing right. Apologies, I should have done it. Keep going, right down. Push into that front heel. <laughs> I'll showcase the new trainers to you in another video. Although they're generally put on in my board in the board. Relax, left side. <laughs> Here we go. They had me black. Still talk about these trainers. They had me black. Take your mind off in that. So I do my clothes. But I just said I go for the funky ones for a change. Okay, guys, come on. Not for me talking. Let's focus on that back side and get it nice and toned along with that leg. Woo! Good! My five burpee! Ready? Up we go! We're nearly through that third set. Remember, we've only got one more set to go. Twist. Ready? Here we go. 
Squeeze the back knee up. Come on, nice and high. Get that rotation. Back nice and long. Can't sit there, but my back is straight. Imagine you've got a broom held on the back of it. Rotate. Three, two, relax. Option, guys, is to do these on the floor. Ready, here we go. Across and round. You can continue to use that chair if you prefer. Last little bit. And relax. And left leg. Ready? Here we go. Double pose. Clench. Don't worry if you're finding the balance top. You can take that back leg off the chair. But that balance is about using your core as well. So it's great to get the stomach muscles going. Last one in. Relax. Left toe out. Here we go. And push. Squeeze. Come on, we're nearly done with that bit of toe in. For the legs and the upper body. Come on, push. Last couple. Relax. Okay. Left side to finish. Here we go. Push. All into that. Left heel. Squeeze the bum. I can feel this in my tummy as well. Because I'm holding it tight. And breathe it out. As I come up. Last one. And down. Ready for those mud five burpees. Here we go. Last bit to finish. Do them on the floor. If you want to make it more challenging. Good guys. Last few. Two more five seconds. Three. Two. And relax. Well done. I'm going to pause that. And I'm going to turn this down. So I'm not shouting at you all. Well done. Very good job. Okay, quick stretch. You're going to use the chair. I'm going to turn it over so you can see. I'm going to take our right leg across that chair as best we can. So the knees down. And then we're going to sink. Sink down. Once you can, you need that bottom hanging off the chair. So you want to feel this here. Obviously, grip on if you need to. Sink. So it's all about trying to stretch into the side of that bone. If that is just too much for you, you can do this on the floor. Feel any pull in the back leg. And then we're just going to try and lean the body over and sink that a bit further. Ooh, lovely. Okay, switch over sides. Left leg over. Get it on there. Sink down. And if you can, you drop lower. And you hold it there. Well done, guys. I hope you feel good after that. It's just a nice way to do something different. Just after you've done something with your feet, maybe you have something by that side, you've gone for a walk. Maybe you can go for a run or something. It's a nice, good little calming bit to come back to afterwards. That's why I generally do at the moment. I'm going out for a little run. In my little 2K loop a couple of times. Do 6K, come back, do a few weights, do a bit of calming. Just to keep me going. Right, okay, bring that up. Hold on to the chair now. Lift up that back leg. Knees together, push forward. If you struggle with holding the back leg, Take that back foot onto the chair and just sit down. And you should be able to push your hips forward. You should be able to feel the stretch down the front of the thigh. So it's completely up to you. And then let's switch it over there. Leg up. I'm bring that way. That way. Push those hips forwards. And then let's quickly stretch. Through that upper back, tuck it in the tummy, 
Circle the arms around, open out the chest. And then last one up, tricep into shoulder, into tricep. Open tricep, down into shoulder, up into tricep. Circle round, roll your shoulders back and down. Well done, guys. Very good job. I'll see you again really soon. Take care.